how I use PA double post from Gun Doubles Week to dominate cover two. And it can be cover two with the deep blue in the middle. It can be cover two regular, cover two send the dogs. I'm going to show you guys how to beat it. And this is going to be my first setup. And it's just zig route on a tight end. What that does, it, it, it floods both sides. And I can make it easy read just looking if it's a cloud flat or a hard flat from the cornerback. We're going to keep doing We're going to show you this. We're just going to look to the left side, and as you can see, the quarterback backs up to the corner out, and it leaves it leaves the hitch wide open. We're just going to look at the left side right here, and uh, I'm going to show you like how to make a read here. If the cornerback stands on top of the receiver, he's going to go to the corner out, and it leaves the hitch wide open. Right there, he's got pressured, so we couldn't throw it. As you can see, he's going to stay on top of the receiver, and it means that he's in cloud flats, so I low ball a hitch. Easy six to seven yards every time, and... Uh, yeah, we're okay with taking six or seven yards because he's going to put us four yards away from the first down. That's fine with me. We're going to do it again. He's going to stay under the receiver, so he's in a hard flat. So we throw a corner out wide open. Easy dot. Super easy dot. We're going to do it again. Come on. Read the cornerback. We're just going to look to the left side. He stays under the receiver. That means he's in a hard flat. Corner out gets wide open. So. All you have to look at is if the if the cornerback's gonna stand on his back or he's gonna stand on his front. So if he's on his front, it's a hard flat. If he's on his back, it's a corner, it's a corner route. He's gonna guard the corner route and leave the pitch wide open. As you can see, hard flat stays under him. Easy corner out dot. <clears throat> so we're gonna do this again. You know, just show you the reads. We're, I think we're gonna go to the right side this time. I believe we're gonna go to the right side this time. We're gonna show you how to make a read on the right side. As you can see. The cornerback just bumps him and takes like three steps back. That means he's in a cloud flat. It's going to be an easy read just because he's going to take three steps back. If it's a hard flat, he's going to just shoot down and make sure that zig route isn't open. So we're making good reads right now, leaving the zig wide open. And it's just all about taking check downs. If you're, if you're okay with taking check downs, this is the perfect offense for you because you're going to get easy first downs up and down the field. So, right here, I, I believe we're going to go hard flats here. You're going to tell a difference. You're going to tell a big difference between the cloud flat and a hard flat. As you can see, my guy Sherman doesn't take those three steps back. But, since he doesn't take those three steps back, Paul Richardson gets wide open up the middle because there's no press. There's no press on the field. So, it's going to take a quick, like, since Sherman isn't pressing him, that post shot's going to get wide open quicker. So, right there, he presses him, goes... Takes three steps back, and it's an easy zig route for 10, 10 plus yards, honestly, if you have a fast tight end there. Right there, there's no press. Tells me it's a hard flat, wide open post route. Paul Richardson, he's, you know, he's going to burn him. So have a fast receiver right there. You know, if he has good route running, he has good running running. But you want someone with speed so he can get a one-play touchdown. <clears throat> We're going to do it again. Oh, but this time we're going to show you my second setup. What I like to do is I like to do double drags. It's d drag X and drag A. What that does is, you know, it's basically the same thing, but it's a delayed, it's delayed. It's going to be, it's, we're going to attack both sides of the field, and we can attack the middle if there's no yellows in the middle. So that, that's a plus about this setup. Instead of the other setup, you can actually attack the middle this time with the, the drags. So as you see, A gets wide open on the drag. Similar to how the hitch gets open. If it's a cloud flat, the drag is going to get open. If it's a cloud flat, if it's a hard flat, the corner route is going to get open. Right there, Tyler Lockett, easy diet, easy. Again, it's a hard flat. Kind of, I was kind of in traffic because it was a bad pass lead, but you still get a dot. But it's easy to read. It's really, really, really easy. Right there, he backs off to the corner route, wide open for Jimmy Graham, tight end, six yards. So. Again, I believe we're gonna go, we're gonna try to attack the right side here. I believe, and right here I see it's hard flats on the right side, and even though it's double drags, that post route still gets wide open on cover two. So it doesn't matter what the setup is, that post route is getting wide open on cover two every time. So right here we're gonna show you guys what I do versus a cover two. After this play, we're gonna show you what I do versus cover two with a deep blue in the middle. So. What I like to do is I like to do a streak with A. This is if your opponent's showing me that he's going to run cover two. I like to streak A and drag X. What that's going to do is the deep blue in the middle 
from the middle linebacker is going to guard the tight end on a streak. And that leaves the post route wide open. Wide open for me to low ball. Right here is it was right here was just an easy dot. Just low ball it. And uh the user's gonna have to the user's gonna have to check the drag route and it leaves the post route wide open. If they try to let the post route just throw the drag. Okay, so you got and you want to motion in the post route like three steps. As you see, I'm motioning him in three steps just so he doesn't get pressed. He's gonna be an easy dot. Boom. Cover two with the deep blue in the middle is just getting cooked right now. I'm telling you. This play is just a cover three beater. I mean, a cover two beater. There's just nothing else I can say about it. Best cover two play that I know. You can attack all all parts of the field on cover two, and that's what makes this play so good. Right here, motion him in. Easy, low ball. That post route gets wide open. If you guarded the post route, hit the drag route. It's just simple reads, and the routes are so far away from each other, it's so hard to lurk. And it's gonna, and that's what. That's why when I ran this offense, I, I barely got picked running this. So it's, it was either really a sack or it was a die. It's just if it's an instant set or not. So as you see, boom, drag route is wide open and the post route is wide open. So I'm just telling you that post route is not going to get picked. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this play. The best cover two play that you'll ever see. Peace out, y'all. Off the part two tomorrow.